I'm Ash Huggett, and you're listening to the Strong by Ash podcast, where we talk all things fitness, business, and lifestyle. Hey everyone, welcome to a new podcast. Uh, and today, I have three lovely ladies joining me on today's podcast. Um, I have Maddie, Dragana, and Casey, who are all funny enough are training on the Strong program. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how, how are you girls? You good? Good, good, good thank, thank you. you. A little bit nervous or what? How are we feeling? Um, <laughs> no, not too bad. Just yeah, a little to bit. get into it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so basically I wanted to, to bring these girls on um, to give everyone a little bit more of an understanding of, um, you know, the, the strong program. I, I bang on it about it so much um, on social media, on here, on the podcast, um, to people. And then also you're hearing it as well from other people who are currently on the program. So I thought, what what are the better way to, to uh, I guess, explain, you know, with the, the journey than having three of the girls who are currently experiencing it now. So um, thanks for coming on today. So I'm going to go through into the first question and uh, it'd be great to get uh, an answer from all of you. So I'd like you all to just introduce yourself, um, let the listeners know what's your training history and where you're currently at on your strong program, because I know that you're all in kind of you know, different uh, parts of the journey. Mm-hmm. Casey. Uh, hi, I'm Casey. I have trained for a long time before starting strong. So I was familiar with strength training, but I started out in class two after watching all Ash's posts for class one and thinking it looked really good. Uh, and now I'm up to week eight of the first 12 weeks. Nice. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm Dragana. So I've done some training with Ash pre-squat club. Um, so I'm also familiar with the strength training. Um, my training background is that um, I started squat club post my first baby. So I did um, mum's club where um, I felt like you know, I lost my weight. I put on 30 kilos with my first baby. Um, and then my second child, I put on 27 kilos. So I came back to the gym after seeing all the um, amazing results from Strong One. It really motivated me to get into Strong Two. Um, so, yeah, um, loving loving strength, lo- loving it, Strong. Nice. What about you, Maddie? Um, so I'm Maddie. I'm currently doing Strong 3. So I started with Strong 1. So I'm just finished my first fortnight. Um, I guess describing my training previous to that would be inconsistent. Um, I tried a lot of different programs, never really stuck to anything. Um, I'm getting married next year. So it was good timing for me to try and get into a routine, um, something that I could keep doing Um, I guess for a long period of time stick to create a routine for myself so I'm loving it too Um, for me this is the longest ever that I've committed to something in terms of training wise so wow um, that's awesome yeah so it's really exciting loving the progress so that's cool that's cool and you kind of said like you know you you're getting ready for a wedding and that was going to kind of lead me into the next question is why why did you you start strong by ash all of you, yeah, Casey, how, why did you start? Yeah, why did you start? Um, well, I've just had a baby, so I had great motivation, much like Joanna. I had how old's your baby? Oh, uh, he's four months old, so um, I'd put on about 25 kilos in that process, and it's just a whole new world. And then you think you don't really know where to start, like, how do you start trying to lose all that? Um, but knowing Ash previously and knowing your training style. I knew that it was going to be a step-by-step approach. Like I had to just go one one step at a time. Yeah, so trust the process. Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah, seeing it advertised, I thought, you know, obviously I want to be strong. I was anything but at that point. And I wanted to get some of my definition back and get confident again. And, uh, yeah, I knew, I knew it would get me the results I wanted, even though it was going to take time. And, yeah, I'm so glad I started. It was only eight weeks in and it's already... Yeah, yeah, you're amazing, already looking incredible. Amazing difference. So, mm. yeah, that, that was my reason for starting. Nice. How about you, Jukana? Um, Obviously, my post-baby body was motivation, but also um, I'm a shift worker and obviously a mum of two, so it was really difficult for me to get to um, classes and get to the gym. So I felt that having a um, program that 
was already designed and I can come to the gym and whatever time suits me and knowing that I was accountable for um, I know, getting the results myself, that was a reason that I really um, wanted to join and also seeing all the progress shots. Like I just, I said it before, I'll say it again, I want to be the one that motivates the next girls in the next program. I want, yeah, it's just, it's inspiring and knowing that it can potentially just take 12 weeks to get into that state is is a good time frame because when you commit for so long and yeah I think yeah that's a good reason yeah definitely what about you Maddie obviously mine was the wedding um and I needed something that I was accountable to the same thing and knowing that I have to check in every fortnight um it keeps me accountable it makes sure like I make sure that I'm sticking to my macros because I know for me that's the biggest thing um, as well as the training. So, yeah, it was that accountability that I love, the feedback that um, we get from you, Ash, which obviously really helps um, within that short um, period of time. So, but, yeah, definitely the wedding was my motivation. Um, I think I was just putting on weight, eating the wrong things, eating the wrong amount, um, and I was just in a bit of a lull, so it came at the right time for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So it sounds like that obviously you've all um, been doing it now for a lengthy amount of time. Do you want to give a bit of a breakdown in terms of like what the program entails or, and kind of like the, what's the processes behind it all and how like how does it actually work? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't even know where to start. A, it's, it's good because you make it simple. It's not, um, you know, because I think sometimes if people are coming back to training or they haven't, haven't trained for a while, you think it's all very overwhelming. And then you, you go, oh, you know, where will I start and what will I do? And you've, you've spelt out every single step. So we never had to think, like, what will I do next? Or, mm-hmm. or how will I make it through the week? You know, sometimes where you're just thinking, oh, meal prepping and training and what will I do first? It's, it's good. It's made, it's made easy. Yeah, so I think the simplicity of it in the two-week fortnight, it's not overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you know you've sort of got two weeks and then after that you can reset and adjust if need be. Um, I think that's what it was for me. It wasn't – I didn't have to know too much at the beginning – um, I didn't know it all then, definitely, but I think that it was the right amount of information um, to start that process. Like I said, I hadn't really done strength training properly before, um, but the program was easy enough for me to follow as a beginner in that sense um, to be able to start myself on that journey. Um, not too overwhelming in that I just gave up. Yeah. yeah. I think, um, I mean, what does it involve? People ask me frequently, um, you know, what are you doing? Is it just lifting weights? It's not. It's, um, you know... Giving Ash our weight and our height and knowing then he calculates how much we need to eat and break down. Like, I think the hardest thing for the first two, three weeks is knowing what to eat and um, trying to figure out the whole macro thing. But now I feel like I don't need to scan as much because I understand my foods and I understand what I should be eating throughout the day. Like, I know if I'm going to eat that cookie, then it doesn't fit today, but it can fit tomorrow, you know. So, like, just being more aware. So, I mean, what does it involve? It involves... A training program that is broken down step by step with every video that gets sent um, and then with meals um, we get recipes and ideas which makes it even easier for us to follow and I love um, that cookbook that cook- so good <laughs> I refer to it all the time <laughs> yeah see um, and then um, and then having a little a little group where we can you know talk to people who are going through um, lulls or or having hard times or encouraging them like this is a good community group as well so I think strength training is there's so much more to try and be just fit. One, <laughs> one small part of that whole it overall is, yeah. process yeah. you're right too that the two weeks is so good because there's been a few times where you know everyone will have maybe like a bad week or that could turn into a bad fortnight and then you get to that end of that point and um, you check in like said Ash you know this isn't really working or here's my concerns and like without missing a beat you just come back and go oh you know um here's some new macros you know I've changed your program a little bit and all of a sudden you're motivated and back on track like Mm. that's so good not to because otherwise it can kind of just drag out and just you you just keep going in that process and instead you you kind of put us back on track yeah I I, like I try and make it as I guess as individual as well as possible Mm. um you know like even I think it was last week in um, I think it was in the class two group. Uh, a couple of the girls um, I set um, for anyone listening. I set a, a certain amount of steps um, for the girls to reach each week. 
Um, and sometimes it look you. I'm sure you guys are aware too. Like it can be pretty tough at times. Um, but then also there are circumstances where things can't. You know, you, you can't change that. Where um, you know you could be sitting in an office every single day, and you can't actually physically reach the amount of steps. So you know that that uh, that came up to last week, um, two separate occasions with two of the girls, and so I decided to to drop those down and you know figure out another way to be able to make sure that we're still burning the same amount of energy in a short amount of time. So we um, we look at it just adjusting that, and now that those girls are fine, like it's it's working within them. So. I do try and uh, I guess keep, make it as, as uh, individualized as possible uh, to make sure that it's fitting in with your lifestyles. If it's fitting in with your lifestyles, then you're going to be more consistent at it. The more consistent uh, that you are, the you know the more progression you're going to have and the better results that you're going to have. Yeah. Definitely know. a level of convenience for everyone's lifestyle that you've made it easy for us to yeah adjust to. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I guess like how many how many days per week do you all train? Because I know that there's, I give the option of five days mm. a week. So what are you guys all training? How many days? Uh, I'm training four at the moment, and that's doable. So <laughs> um, sometimes I've had a couple of weeks where you know the week gets away and you think, oh, I'm only up to day two. So I would come on a Saturday or Sunday and I have to maybe merge my days to so do the, se- the third and fourth day together. Um, but for the most part, the four the four days is is good. It really fits into life for me baby well yeah yeah that's cool what about you Dragan? um i aim for a minimum of three and try to do the five but i think i'm going about the three four regularly mm-hmm. so three four and then i do a day of basketball as well and i'm on my feet all day at work as well so sometimes i'm like oh i'm okay but yeah three definitely um and then i'll try to get my fourth day in because as well like i know you also obviously got a really busy lifestyle mm. i know that i made an adjustment few weeks ago what mm-hmm. was the adjustment that I made? um to do oh, i wasn't doing my steps and you asked me to oh there was a few adjustments because okay, i struggled every we week <laughs> <laughs> there was a struggle every week so first time um you suggested that i do some home workouts as well just to get some of my calorie burning so just to do um the kids you know burpees and stuff with the kids and do some activities with the kids um which we have implemented dancing with youtube um <laughs> and i'll do some burpees while dancing um and then um i was i was getting really tired doing shift work and not sleeping post my night shifts um so i asked whether or not i should um still try and get to the gym even though i'm exhausted because i was worried about getting injured um but coming to the gym helps with my mental health um and you suggested that i just decrease my um rpm is that right rp RP, yeah Um, rate of perceived exertion so how intense that that yeah. How intense the, the weight is feeling on that set. Yeah, so if I was extra tired that day, then not to go heavier, but then to do something that was still doing a workout, which has helped as well. Yeah. What else? Well, there's so many adjustments. I think that's about it. <laughs> I mean, last week, I'll be honest with you, I had a horrible week. You know, I didn't sleep off nights. It was my son's birthday christening. I was trying to organise it. Um, got my period. I just, I hated life and I just could not be bothered having an extra responsibility. So I didn't count my calories. I didn't go to the gym. I just had a one week mental break and then came back super motivated because I didn't feel as energized not doing that. I feel better going to the gym and eating well. So it's good. Yeah, that's actually, I actually, I mean, I don't even know if you've, you've seen yet, but I, today is, uh, well, the day we're recording is Friday and I did everyone's check-ins today. So mm-hmm. I did say like, don't stress. And I'm really proud of you that you are aware of you know, the, the stresses that you have within your life that you've gone to been able to take a back step. And so, you know what, I just need a moment to just rest my body mm-hmm. from training, from tra- uh, tracking nutrition as well, and just focus on yourself. Yeah. So like you know, I wrote on there, I don't know if you've seen yet, but I was very proud of you to acknowledge that and take the time off. Thanks. So it's good. <laughs> How about you, Maddie? How many days are you training per um, week? Strong one and two, I was training four days a week. Um, that's what I could commit to. Now on three, I'm doing the five um, to add in because we've added in a conditioning day. I was so say, why are you adding five? Um, <laughs> for the conditioning day, which I have not done yet. Um, but again, I guess to, to um, say as well as what you were saying, that just that mindset change for me has been the biggest thing. Um, I used to dread coming to the gym or working out after work because um, I do feel so exhausted. But I've really been pushing myself 
um, to come in those extra afternoons, um, obviously to fit them in, but more so I do feel so much better for it. And I find that the following day as well, I'm in a better headspace. So um, yeah, I'm up to five days. So this will be my first week. Nice job. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, that's my plan. And that's you know that. that that's all we have to do is is be making small little steps. If I had said right from the very beginning, if you had no consistency um, pr- prior to strong, and I said you need to go and do five days a week, there's no way you'd be able to do that. You no, know, been way too overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. So we we make small little steps um, and progressing you, then that that way, then you'd be able to build really good habits, consistency, keep ticking off the boxes, yeah. and then we can make small little improvements that keep progressing for long. And now, you know, now you're at five days a week. Like yeah, I never thought I'd be one of those people that say, I really like training and going to the gym. <laughs> 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 so when you guys are training, like how long typically are your training sessions taking? Mm. Oh, I, how long I walk for. Yeah, <laughs> in that's between. true. I was going to say, I used to come to the gym pre-baby and it was as much social as it was yeah. for training. And I love that. I love coming here and mm. catching up with everyone and hearing about their day and now, sometimes, especially if I've brought my baby with me and he's sleeping while I train, I get it done in 40 minutes. That's that's the time I get. Wow. Um, I'll make it happen in that, even with really quick laps walking in between just to get some extra steps in for the day. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I, it's still it, – that gives me time to come in, set him up in the pram. I, I open my program, which is all set up, ready to go, and have a look at what you've set for RPEs and – what I was doing for weights last week, see if I can, you know, increase any of those a little bit. Um, so there's still plenty of time even within that. And I'm, I'm always done within the hour and, like, heading back home or whatever I need to do next in the day. So I'm probably a little bit more efficient than I used to be. But that's that's the time it takes me at the moment. That's impressive, 40 minutes. That's really good. <laughs> I wish my Smashed workouts took that long. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah. How about wow. you, Drags? Like, my leg day is taking an hour and a half. <laughs> I feel like by the time I do my warm-up, I feel like that's the same as doing my booty finisher. <laughs> so that's, that's true. Take, Finishes take like a yeah, little while. And then you factor that in. And maybe it's because I do it with two Wait other phase girls. Three. There's no more booty finishes in phase oh three. Oh my god! Because no. my booty is finished post like my workout. <laughs> 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 no, but um, yeah. So boot like booty days take me an hour and a half, and I do it with two other girls. So I don't know if it's because we talk in between. I don't think so. Like we smash it out, and then I can do full body in an hour or just under. With warm up, so God, I gotta. Yeah. <laughs> I come with you. <laughs> it's, it was never like that before. I used to be here like for most of the evening. <laughs> what about you, Maddie? Um, mine are about an hour. Yeah, depending. Obviously, if I'm walking, if I'm a bit sore after leg days, I will walk an extra lap in between each set just to rest my body a little bit longer. Um, but usually, I'm about the hour mark. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I guess as well, like you all kind of mentioned as well, that's a bit of a, a training hack just to get the extra steps in is to yeah. um, walk the laps of the gym. And if you have the opportunity in a, in a big gym like like squat club, then you know, make use of that time of resting in between sets and uh, get your steps in. Mm. And have so, the social yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I guess, you know, Maddie, you said that you were not as consistent uh, with training beforehand and in case you've trained uh, previously and, train with me as well as you Dragana. Yep. with um being on the program now you guys have been on it for two months you've been on it since february yep. so what do you think do you think it's uh achievable for someone who's a beginner well i was a beginner um so um for me like i wasn't really doing um strength training as i mentioned um nothing consistent um i was i think 11 kilos heavier than um so, and I was really a beginner. I was really worried at the beginning because I thought, oh, strong, that sounds like you have to have some sort of knowledge prior to <laughs> beginning. Um, but I sort of just took a chance. Um, and honestly, it was the best thing. I, like I said, I didn't know anything. I learned along the way. Um, yeah, you, if you haven't done it before, it's something that you could definitely do. Um, it was easy. I think I said it before to you, Ash, if you stick to it, um, it's easy to see the results. So, yeah. That's cool. What about you girls? What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I got some friends that have started and they're beginners and they're enjoying it and loving it. So it's absolutely um, something you can do as a beginner. Yeah. Mm. What about I you, think, Case? I think the really good part about it is even if you're not a beginner, even when you read some of the exercises, like for me, they're just completely going out of my head and I'm thinking, 
what does that mean? And oh, to have yeah. that link, a watch link on every single exercise that you give us, oh. it's just so easy. So even stuff that even when I know what you mean, like I'll read it and go, oh, okay, I know. Sometimes it's worth just clicking in and watching the, the oh, actual yeah. exercise and thinking, you know, that the right technique and being reminded and when to breathe. Right. And exactly. When to yeah, hold yeah. I love it. So basically, anyone could could be given that and not it's your own personal trainer in your pocket, huh? That's exactly yeah. right. That but you Bible. don't have to have yeah. that that prior knowledge or have trained like like Maddie said, really any weights at all. The the term strong shouldn't be off putting to people that haven't had any weights experience because you you're giving them all that knowledge within the program. Yeah, I love that. And I've I've never not trained without a trainer. So this was that's, true, that's yeah. what I was a bit nervous about is that all my strength training was done with you or was done with the mum's class. Um, so I just thought, oh, am I going to remember when I need to breathe? Because I felt like every single time I did it with a trainer, I was being corrected with my technique. But I'm able to read. And then we've got the option of recording, which I've done a couple of times. I record my technique and send it to Huggy and Ash, sorry. And, <laughs> um, and yeah, and he'll correct it in text. So it's just it's fantastic. It's very easy and very accessible. And yeah. That's cool. I've actually got um, you know, other girls who were previously like on group training um, and also others from doing personal training with others. And I guess that was also a fear uh, in their minds as well is that how can I go from having someone who was training with me at that time to then training by myself. But you can see now it's a very uh, accountable program. You know, uh, you've seen what I'm like. I'm trying to stay on top of everyone, um, making sure that everyone's achieving their goals and their days of training. Um, so you can, yeah, you can yeah, even see. even being pushed. Like when you got a personal trainer there, they'll say, "Oh, you could do two more. You could do one more." And then you think, "Oh, am I going to push myself? Maybe I'll just say I'll stop at five instead of doing eight. But you have in the back of your head that you are accountable. You need to check in. You need to do this and you need to do that, which which is great. It's a motivation in itself. Mm. That's cool. Okay, so um, I guess we like motivation. Obviously, can come and go with everyone. We're all human. So what do you guys do, uh, I guess, like to stay so consistent with training, with nutrition? Like, how are you guys doing that? How are you doing that? Um, I like to look back at my photos. Um, if I'm feeling not motivated, um, I do go back and look um, at where I've come from. Um, in saying that, I do, if, we're, if I'm going out or I feel like you were saying where you just had the week off, um, I do give myself permission to do that too, not a week, um, but a day here or there, um, just to sort of reboot myself, feel like I'm not missing out on anything um, and just to tell myself that my body um, isn't going to change with one bad meal um, and just giving myself permission. And I think that because I give myself permission, I can get back straight onto it the next day and it's not then that whole week that I used to take to say, oh, I'll start on Monday, I've had a bad day, so I'll just start on Monday. Um, so... Yeah, I guess motivation um, has really come from myself, um, not relying on too many other people, but just because I have seen that progress so quickly um, and knowing that if I keep going, then there's more to come. So, yeah, that's the biggest motivation for me. Um, my motivation, I do go to the gym with um, two of my friends, so that's a good motivator because it's sometimes hard to get out of bed, you know. Um, but also... Wanting to fit back into my old clothes was motivating enough for me to. Um, and, well, yeah, I, I said it before. I had a week off because um, I wasn't feeling well mentally. And then um, the way that I felt when I wasn't doing it, I didn't like it. I liked having more energy. I liked feeling fitter. I liked feeling healthier. So um, that's my motivation, the way that I feel if I don't do it. So. That hundred percent. Mine as well. I know starting out, you have good motivation at the start because it's it's new and you think, oh, this is great. I'm going to stick to this program. And after a few weeks, you're thinking this is good. And then it won't take much to get you off track. It might be a bad day, or you, like work's not been good, or you, you just get something that will get you down. And then you think, oh, you know, do I really want to go today? I might just skip a day. And then, oh, if I just ate some pizza, it'd probably make me feel better. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then. Um, I actually just woke up yesterday and thought to myself, we're into eight, 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 eighth week? Yeah, yeah. eighth week. And I thought it's such a good feeling. Like I would do it now having known the process and getting to this point and you wake up and you feel 
really good. Like your muscles are starting to like you can see the change and um, you wake up in the morning energetic and so it's it's a hard thing I guess to to look in advance and think if I if I get through this 12 weeks that's going to be the first step in the whole process of feeling so good and and having that as your own motivation mm. and like Maddie said looking back at your old photos and then seeing how far you've come but how yeah that feel. the actual feeling mm. is such a nice thing like yeah. when you wake up you feel happy you feel strong and you think I've done all this myself you know no one you can't pay you can pay great trainers and you can get great advice but you can't pay to go out and like buy a great body you have to do that yourself it's so work, it's, a, right. it's a good feeling like yeah when you wake up in the morning you go I've worked really hard and that's why I feel like I do now mm. yeah I like that yeah. and the first two weeks I'll just sorry add on to that I think counting macros is just you feel overwhelmed you feel like yeah, it's this hard. is such a commitment yeah. and am I even bothered for it and then um I think it's great that you do a fortnightly check-in because it's all the changes come in a fortnight. Like, you know, first two weeks, you so you're struggling with macros, but then you see the most body mass like loss. And then the next two weeks, you're like, all right, I'm starting to understand the macros, but now I haven't had much change in my body. And then the next mm. two weeks, it's you're like, process. hold on, I'm feeling fitter again. Like, it's just such a process, and you have a different jump in mentality like every single time. But mm. yeah. and I'm sure, um, I guess, like you've all had a lot of ups and downs. Um, and that's why I really preach on that it is a journey because there are so many ups and downs with this. It's not, I know, people initially think that it's a very linear approach and, you know, this is what they see on social media and this is the before and then this is the after. And, um, you know, like with Maddie, like I've put up your photos before and, you know, there's been a lot of ups and downs in between those two photos. Yeah, 100%. Um, so, like, it's, that's something that I try and educate everyone and, and understanding is that, you know, there are going to be a lot of ups and downs. Take the small wins too because um, initially because we are weighing ourselves daily so everyone's kind of looking at their daily weight and all the, the weight and going, why isn't it going down? Yeah. Shit, why, yeah. why? It's easy to get so focused on that. Yeah. That's right, yeah. you know, so but we, we look at trying to find other ways to see the progression and then um, more often than not, like even today, I sent a lot of photos to a lot of girls with their progressions and – you know, that uplifted their spirits because they saw the differences that they hadn't seen at all because they see, see each other, or they see themselves every day and you know, the measurements can be quite slow but then also the weight fluctuates a lot and it can stay very steady. As soon as you see that visual change, you're like, well, you know what, I don't actually care about the weight yeah. on the scale anymore, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, what do you love the most about Strong? <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, list, list them all then. Go on. Go on. So <laughs> above all that we already talked about and the fact that, you know, you make the training program quite simple. We have the recipe book with, that come along with the macros. So even if that's a bit of a learning curve and you haven't done macros before, it's it's spelled out pretty well. Um, I really love the group. I love every time you see a notification on Facebook and you're like, oh, what's this going to be? And then someone's posted and, like, whether they're, they've had a good day or a bad day or it's a – what I did with recipe out of the book last night and just different things like it's it's just nice that everyone's I feel like in it together so like that whole class two that we have um we've all been like together since the start and just keeping up and like seeing how everyone's going it's just a nice thing knowing that everyone is we're all doing what similar or the same sort of process mm. and um that yeah you're all you're all going through it and if you need to ask questions or you're unsure that everyone's there and they can answer and help each other out yeah it's a nice thing um i love that i'm understanding my foods i think i mentioned that earlier um being aware of what's good for you and what's not like i didn't know how many calories in a um meat pie <laughs> 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 never eating one of those again <laughs> um and um just feeling honestly I feel stronger like I really I really do I feel um fitter and I'm getting you know you get compliments and you're like oh the weight just falls off you no it's hard work but I'm doing it and that's what I should be proud of not that the weight's fallen off that I've committed to something and it's changing my body and I'm feeling good about it um yeah the support is great um and yeah it is it's easy it's easy if you can follow it and knowing that you just need a couple of weeks to get your mind into following a program um, and being a part of that journey, as you said before, um, it's, 
That's fantastic. I'm definitely going to do the next one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think my favourite things, firstly, obviously, the results. Um, and I think we can all vouch that everyone's seeing results, um, even at different stages. Um, from like They came really quickly for me. Um, by the sounds of you girls look amazing. You've got one in on the second one too. Um, but... And I think for, um, the biggest thing for me, it's something that I can continue forever. Um, it's not a diet program as such where you have to eat the same thing over and over. You can suit that to your lifestyle um, and it's something that you can change um, and keep forever. So that is something that I love most about it, that I can make it fit for me. Oh yeah, I love my high, high carb days. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the best. <laughs> Save all the cupcakes and the donuts. <laughs> I actually, for me, like I love the most is um, getting to educate you guys. Uh, like a, a majority of the, the girls jumping on don't have the, the education around nutrition, around training. And um, that's for me where I am extremely passionate about is trying is getting to teach. Uh, I should have been a, should have been a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today, guys, we're learning about macros. <laughs> um, We're going to do a podcast so everyone sit around. Yeah, yeah. Put the cameras out. But no, no I, I really enjoy it and, and then I really love hearing, I get this, a lot of satisfaction by, um, by the girls coming up to me and saying that they understand the reasons why certain things are happening mm. um, and then also teaching other people, I find that really satisfying. So that's a really, really big fun for me and that's why now over, as I'm progressing now, I want to add something else into the program is educational videos, um, which you all get as well. So basically I want to be able to do a video of basic, of where you are at on your journey currently and give you more education and understanding as to why that you're there or why your mindset's like that or if something comes up, how to address it so then it's not going to affect you um, or let certain things um, fit into your lifestyle. You know, So that is a massive one for me is to be able to give you guys the tools and the education around it so then – you know, like you won't need me or you won't need anyone else because you have so much education. Um, that's something like why I built with Scott Club that with the guys is like we want to be able to progress everyone, all the all the personal training clients. So then they don't need a personal trainer anymore. Um, they have the tools and the education to know what to do by themselves. And that's also uh, a goal of mine with Strong is to be able to give you all the education um, and like, that's why like, I love getting the questions back, asking why. Like someone asked me what was, um, you know, what is the benefits of, of a high carb day? And like I love hearing that because then I can go back and educate that person because they're really interested into understanding that. So um, that's a massive one for me. And that's why now I want to add these educational videos into wherever you are or are on the, the four phases of Strong. So. I think your feedback to Ash is really timely. I think that, um, you know, usually you're, like you said, today we had check-ins. Um, and most of us, well, I know that I've heard back from you in regards to that. So it's not like we're waiting days to hear back to then make changes to um, our macros or our training. It's really quick. Um, and so that it makes it a really efficient process. So I think, yeah, definitely having your support there. I um, mean, we see your passion through that because getting back to us is a yeah. priority of yours on those check-in days. So, yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> you go, you go, you go. Oh, I'm so grateful for that too because – few weeks ago, um, as Ash knows, I had to change um, basically half my training. Like I had to, I just had to adjust my lifestyle for a short term, short term injury that I had still like going on from birth. And um, it, it's so hard thinking, you know, you're on track and everything's great. And then um, that was one of my little roadblocks. And I wrote to Ash and said, you know, I can't, I can't train this for a certain amount of time and sort of just a bit, bit down about it all. And um, I sort of thought you might say, well, you know, put it on hold or like, <laughs> you know, what, no what, whatever, you know, like not, not, but just because it seemed to me like a bit, well, well what will I do? But I, I think it was a matter of hours and you came straight back and said, oh, look, here's all your workarounds, you know, here's, here's your um, next three weeks of, of exercises that you can do just to avoid any, any contact with that. And amazing. Like I felt so happy then. I thought, oh, okay, it's not, it's not the end of the world. I can do this and. Yeah, but it was it was it was really really great timing. And that's yeah. why as well, like I really push that it's not a cookie cutter approach. Like I've worked pretty hard. I would say this is probably one of the the biggest and best programs I've ever built in my tra- entire training career. 
Um, and it is definitely not a cookie cutter approach and everything has a certain reason uh, to it. And then if there are certain circumstances like what happened with your case or yeah. even like with your situations as well, Jagana, that like I try and make those adjustments and um, like obviously you're all at different points in nutrition, like your calories are now going up. Your okay. calories are about to go up. Your yeah. calories are actually going down. No, I'm oh, no, no, they're the same. I did <laughs> check it. I'm I'm joking. Joking. Don't you worry. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like it is very individualized and that's why um, I can only get to do one more this year is just because yeah. the capacity mm. is, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. So um, that's why we're going to yeah, yeah. And, and you do don't feel more. like you're training by yourself. Like I said, I've, I've always had a personal trainer um, and then I play basketball. So I'm always in a like environment with people, but... You do, you reply quickly, so you feel like you're not training by yourself, which is great. Mm. What about um, when you first saw Strong? Um, I know, Maddie, you were the, from the very first class. What was your first impressions of seeing, uh, of seeing like, what the hell is Strong on social media? Like, what, what did you think? Um, I remember I was away at that. <laughs> Sounds like I'm away all the time. I'm really not. But I was in Queensland at the time, and... Um, my friend actually sent it to me and said, I think this would be really good for you. This is exactly what you've been looking for. Um, and I think I messaged you, Ash, and said, look, this is what my goals are. Um, is this something that would work for me? Um, and you said, yep, sign up and give it a go. So um, obviously I was seeing it lots. It was coming up um, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, it was almost like a sign, really. <laughs> <laughs> I should sign up. So, um, yeah, I didn't really think twice about it. I, I think I came back and then the next week it was all set up, ready to go. So, yeah. That's cool. So what about you? So Casey and Dragana, you guys are on class two. Mm -hmm. yep. um, you would have seen a lot of the results, a lot of the um, uh, testimonials, everything that was from class one. Like what was your first impressions from seeing it all? Uh, my, my first impression, I obviously saw the, um, the same things um, with all the um, Instagram and Facebook doing the first, promoting the first one. And I honestly thought that seems a bit too much and I felt a little bit overwhelmed to think that I had to be accountable for everything, you know, that I had to um, do my own training and do all that. It wasn't until I saw um, the progress shots from the first one that I really got motivated and inspired and I thought, holy crap, I want to do that. So um, I, I needed to see the results to, to be motivated for it because it just looked overwhelming. But now being a part of it, it really isn't as overwhelming as I thought it was. Yeah, that's true. Mm. The photos always, I, I love it too. Yeah. I'm such a sucker for like a before and after. <laughs> 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 but it's true because it is really motivating. Well, it makes it real, right? Yeah, yeah and, you, and it, yeah. even if it's not people that you know, but people you see at the gym and you see the results they've gotten. And at that particular point in time when you started advertising class two, I was fairly sleep deprived and had tiny little baby and um, I suppose I was a bit the same in terms of thinking oh, you know can I do all that could I commit to that um, and I remember it kept coming up in, in my Instagram as well and I'd see Ash posting and I would think you know I want to be a part of that but I don't know if it's the right time or I wonder if this is really for me maybe you know I should just do my own home workouts now I'm a mom and then um, yeah it came up again one day and so I said to my husband I think I'm gonna just give this a go and he was really keen he pushed me straight away he said you know do it sign up and just see how you go with it and um I was so glad that I did them because yeah it, seeing it and think and yeah having that little doubt in the back of your mind whether it's because you know you've had a baby or you haven't trained before or for whatever reason um yeah it, it's 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 almost like you just have to suppress that and put it put it to the back of your head and think if it's something that you want to do you should start now because it makes you feel so good. You, you're so much happier for taking that control of your life and it's so worthwhile. Definitely. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. So if there were, um, I mean, like there'll be a lot of girls who are seeing the, I guess, class three coming up now um, who, who are in the shoes that you were, what would you say then? What would their, what would your message be to the girls that are seeing the stuff, they're seeing the progression, the, 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 the transformations? Um, obviously I'm pushing out a lot of stuff on social media now like what are your what would you say to those girls do it <laughs> don't be scared, um, don't don't be scared. scared. Yeah. just do it yeah give it a go, give it a go. Yeah. definitely it's i know i think it. i just said that already but yeah there's nothing to lose mm. and so much to gain new friendships and better knowledge like you said all the education there's yeah it's a great program 
Thanks, Kate. <laughs> it's easy to make excuses, I think. Like, mm. I felt like I was just making excuses last week, even though I, I, I needed a break. But, um, you know, and I've had friends going, I want to do what you're doing, but I can't. I was like, but you can, because you can. Like, if I'm doing it with two babies and shift work and no sleep and everything else that's going on, it's, it's possible. It is, like you said, mm. it could be 40 minutes of your day or an hour and a half of your day but it's only a small amount in your day to feel great. So I just do it. <laughs> Commit what you can. Yeah. Yep. I think it um, helps being at Squat Club too. I've been in a few gyms before and nothing compares. Like when they say, I remember before I came here, people were like, I have a friend here. And she said, come, it's different. It's not like other gyms. And until you're here, you really understand what that means. Mm. Um, and being someone who was a beginner who hadn't really trained before, it was that whole mentality, oh, God, people, I'm going to stand out. People are going to see me and know that I've never trained before. Um, and, yeah, totally dispel all of those thoughts. Just sign up, give it a go. And I would say to reach out to you, Ash, if people did have questions because um, you'd be able to answer them. And yeah. Mm. I guess that's not a gym, it's community. No, that's very right. helpful. <laughs> Yeah, that's right yeah. though. Like you, you're definitely right. If anyone has questions, then just please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help uh, any way possible. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for jumping on today. Thank uh, you. I guess you know, giving me um, honest truth. You girls had absolutely no idea what, what these questions were. I just said, <laughs> look, I just, <laughs> I just want you just to talk, and I want it to be really raw. So um, just know that I, I haven't given them any money for this. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no subtle. Uh, there's no secret answers. Say this, say this. Put some money <laughs> under the carpet. But um, no, so look, I really, really appreciate your time for coming out today and, uh, you know, getting to explain your journeys with Strong so far. And um, I'm very grateful to have you all on as well. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. No worries. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right. Thanks for listening today. And um, we will see you in the next episode. All right. Bye. Bye.